Hi. Welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Wednesday, July 7th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church. And take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation for you to pause in your day, to just be still and to breathe and to relax and find your center and comfort in the presence of God who made you and loves you and calls you by name. Today, as we continue um, our reflections on the Gospel of Mark, we are on Mark 12, 1 to 12. This story follows up on the story of uh, Jesus being confronted with people who question his authority, the religious leaders of the day. In this case, that first story ended in what one commentator called a draw. In this story, Jesus tells a parable, which is more of an allegory because you can see um, direct equivalents. Uh, it's a story about uh, a landlord who goes away and he has renters, tenants, who take care of his vineyard. And he sends a servant to come and collect the fruit of the vineyard that he is due. And they beat him up, throw him out. And the, land, the landlord does that several times. The owner does that several times. And each time they beat him up, throw him out. So the landlord decides, I'm going to send my son. Surely they will respect my son. And when his son comes, they say to themselves, this is the heir. Uh, if we kill him, then we will inherit the vineyard. And so they do that. The question Jesus asks at the end is, so what do you think the landlord will do? Now the story is really a story where God is the landlord, the owner, the vineyard is Israel or the people of God, the tenants are the religious leaders of the day, and the servants that come to collect are the prophets, and the son is Jesus. The question that gets raised in this story is um, that of the difference between stewardship and ownership. We are stewards of what God has given us. We don't own it. We don't use it for simply for our own benefit. We use it for the good of all God's people. So, with all of that in mind, I invite you, if you haven't already done so, to go to a quiet place. I'm in a nice quiet place at the beach and settle into a chair or a comfortable seat or stretch yourself out on a couch or on the floor, um, whatever. And close your eyes and take some deep breaths. And as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from God. As you breathe in, breathe in the breath of life. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that does not give you life. As you breathe in, breathe in God's peace. And as you breathe out, breathe out all of the, your worries and your fears and your anxieties and all the things that distress you. Continue to breathe deeply, in and out, and imagine that the peace of God is growing in you with each breath. Imagine it perhaps like dipping yourself into a cool pool of water on a hot day. As you dip yourself in, as you step in with your feet, the, the peace of God and the rest and relaxation and refreshment, the coolness on your feet causes them to feel renewed. And as you step in a little deeper up to your knees and then your waist, the water renews and refreshes your legs from all of the running around you've been doing and the burdens of the day. And then as you step up, step in so that you are in the water, just maybe just under your arms, it calms your stomach and the anxieties you've been carrying around there. And it renews your back and all the burdens that you've been carrying around for the day. Your breathing stays deep and restful. 
and your heart rate slows to a calm and peaceful rate. And then you dip down so that your shoulders are covered and your arms are floating freely. And as you do so, it brings relaxation to your shoulders and the muscles there and your arms are relaxed and your hands open up and your, your arms and your hands float freely in the water. And then you dip down up to your chin and the coolness of the water relaxes your neck so that the tensions you've been carrying around in your neck go away and any headaches that you've had from that tension ease. And you take some of the water and you splash it up on your face and it makes you smile as you feel that coolness and you uh, relax your jaw and your brow is unfurled. And then you lean back and your uh, head is covered for a moment. And that calms all of the things that have been bouncing around in your brain. So you are calm and peaceful in the presence of God. Now imagine in your eyes, in your mind's eye, that you are sitting in a vineyard. There is a nice arbor there for you to sit under in the shade and a place uh, with a table and a couple of chairs and cool drinks. It's a beautiful grape arbor. And you're sitting there thinking about how gorgeous it is and how much you appreciate God's good creation. And along comes vine dresser. He's been working in the garden. And he smiles at you. And he says, hi, I'm the owner of this vineyard. I hope you like it. And you realize at once that this person is more than the owner. It's a messenger of God. And he asks if he can sit with you for a while. And the two of you sit. And you talk about whatever it is you want to talk about with God. So I'll be quiet for a few minutes while the two of you talk. the time comes for the conversation to be ended so the two of you ended in whatever way is appropriate and you allow that image to fade away and you bring yourself back to the place where you are and when you're ready you open your eyes and that's take a break take a breath for Wednesday July 7th if you have feedback for me, or you want to send, or you want to talk or pray together, send an email to rick at prospectchurch.org.